That's one question I have too. Is why were we denied to have the Fourth of July and Libby was allowed to? They had their parade and everything. Why? Why couldn't we? We weren't we, denied it. Yeah, we weren't denied it. The chamber canceled it. The chamber of commerce. Did the chamber do that? It had nothing parade? to do with the city. It was all the they chamber. organized. So the city had nothing to do with the fire or Fourth of July. Uh -huh. Nothing. Well, we we provide. The place, the, property, the right. town, the park, and we provide all kinds of help to help them make it work. You know, man hours, police, reserves, everything. We we work with them, but they, that is their gig. That's it's always so. The city has nothing to per se on that. Mm -hmm. if, well, we could say I went and uh, Jerry Bennett went. And there was five, you know, I've said this before, there was five ladies in there that really did not want to make that call. And we, at that time, we were just throwing scenarios out there to, well, let's wait maybe a little bit and see how it progresses and this and that. Uh, but as it went on, they definitely, you could tell it was hurting them to make that call, but they made that call. We couldn't vote at that time. And I support it. You know, it's their, it's their stuff, and we could say what we want to try to encourage them, but it's still their call, it's their responsibility. And I support them on it. I said, no matter what you guys do, I'll support you. It's just, there's other alternatives I'd like you to see before you make this decision. And we did discuss that. And it was a good discussion. But the gals thought that at the time, it was probably the right move to make. And that's why they called it. They don't think they should talk to the city first, the people of the town, and to see what their thoughts were? Because there's a lot of people that are really bummed out that there was not a to lie here. And I hear a lot of people, I hear that too, but I also hear a lot of people saying thank you. Mm -hmm. Also, I really do. I think I also any other group could have taken it on and tried to put it on and you know get the insurance and work with the health department and, and do that, but I mean, nobody, so I think yeah. most people that I've talked to about it think that it was canceled because of COVID. That's why I'm asking why was Libby allowed to? Yeah. What well, is there, what's their general reasoning? You think the what? people's reasoning? You know, they think we canceled it. Yeah, they, they I, think I know the city what is canceled it. it. They don't. They don't. Oh. The chamber can canceled it. They think the city canceled it. And then why? Oh my. Why, if Libby can have it, why we can't have it is the main question. Libby got as far as I'm, I I know. They. Uh, uh, Residents, not business, residents, went to the commissioners and had, it and had a discussion with them. And I know Mark Peck told you guys, that's Troy's old fashioned Fourth of July. That's their one day event. And he was real adamant about that. And I, I completely believe uh, Mark when he says that. Because he knows old town values and what it means. And uh, it's still our event. Plain and simple. We'll see. Well, I'm it'll not giving in. It'll be smaller. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. maybe it will for a year or two, but we'll bring it back. You know, I hope so. um, oh, we all hope so. Yeah. Because that's, I, I agree 100% how you feel, because that's our one. Big well, that's a big deal. hit for all the business. All of here. Every one of them. A big hit. Well, yep. Hopefully it encourages more people to volunteer to help. With it. Volunteers for what? No, there was nothing on there for volunteering for anything. For next year. In the future. Volunteer. Oh, yeah. For future. Yeah, yeah, sure, that'll help out. Yeah. But yeah, so there's nothing to do with that this year. No, no. I mean, just in the future, people who realize how much they care about it, since it wasn't here this year, hopefully more people will step up. Because I know it's exhausting for the chamber. For a lot of people. Yeah. 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 For, yeah, there's a lot of work behind the scenes. Yeah. Preparation and everything, so. Well, it, it's very time consuming. It did pretty quick. I don't and see and it by no happen. means was it like ours. By no means. And when you write or you have a program out there that they can see and they can pretty much follow suit what we do, that also improves and speeds up the situation quite a bit because they don't have to brainstorm to come up with ideas. So it was pretty much what we do, you know, and they're going to do it, they're going to do it. I'm not going to lose any sleep over those guys doing that. That's our holiday. They have the bull rides, they have, you know, well, they had Nordic Fest, but that's gone. They have logger days, and what's some of the, there's a couple other ones there that they have. 
Pardon? The chainsaws. The loggers day and then the yeah. carving. Yeah, the carving and more power to them. I thought loggers day got canceled. Yeah, they canceled that. Yeah. Yeah, they, canceled that. Yeah. they have the stoker. Yeah. So, so I feel very strongly that people living know that it's our 4th of July. And uh, I'm hoping, like heck, they all respect that and, you know, support us next year more because I'm hoping it's going to be a lot bigger and better if this all goes away. What we're dealing with, it's going to be bigger and better. And that's where Shauna brings in volunteering. You ought to know more about volunteering because look what you do. I do. We all do. And that's the only thing that makes these things work in these small communities, people chipping in. You can sit and gripe all you want. But I'll listen to the guy that gripes and volunteers all. I will. And uh, if we want it to work, we all got to chip in and we got to help that commerce make this work. And I'm a firm believer in that. And people don't like that. I don't care. Well, I That's what it takes it to make it work, Chuck. And I put a lot of time in. We all do crystals. I'll be honest with you, you and I cut together. I never balled that much in my life. <laughs> Jeez. So that's where I'm at with that, Chuck. And you can tell, you know, those people that I got the questions, come in and talk. Come in and talk to me. You know, or the gals. I'm more glad to listen to anything they got to say. Because it matters. Yeah, I think most people think the city is the one that has control over it, so. No. And that's why I asked him when everything first started that something he posted saying the city was not, does not make decisions on the 4th of July. I think yeah, well, the chamber, that would have been a lot of that. The chamber yeah, posted that. The yeah. chamber posted on their Facebook page. They posted it on a comment. Yeah, yeah. it's just. But yeah, it needed to be something yeah. from the city, which is what at the time I'd asked yeah. for the city to disclose that and say that we supported the chamber's decision. But yeah, most people they talk to they don't. the city is the one that controls mm -hmm. the fireworks. Yeah. Well, that's what you see, but and you can't blame them because they see all of us out right. And because City Fire oh. does it, and they yeah. associate that together. Yep. So Very it much. is just something that needs to be broke. That association needs to yep. be broke. Yeah, if we're not the ones yep. that decide what happens mm -hmm. with the Fourth of July, we they need to know that we're not. The, we're just volunteers. Mm -hmm. yep. We're just helping. Which is we're just you know, that's great, but everybody else needs to know that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and then they're a new group. And uh, that's a good thing to bring up to them, you know, next time. We should do that. And Susie has been doing that to a degree. As far as what, I don't follow Facebook, I don't do any of that. But I hear that, that Susie's been putting that out there like that. So, but that's a good idea, too. You know, you had Chris, you know, they should let that be known. Well, and we need to. On our city webpage, Facebook, something, we need to do it. Not just expect them to do it. Well, no then, then it's something that we need to do, too, just. To okay. say, you know, just for everybody to know, this is how it works. Well, eliminate a lot of the talk mm -hmm. then by doing that. So that's well, not a bad idea. Definitely, I didn't know about on that for a okay. while. You got that? Yeah. Here's an idea too, you guys. Is uh, we have some pretty innovative on the chamber, innovative people on the chamber too. We're enjoying new energy, and y'all. How about you know one of the options would be to come up with a unique double event have another event in the same general time frame as that to bring in additional people. Okay, like an example would be the chainsaw contest up there in the Harvest Fest. They decided to meld those two together. So they had the Harvest Fest at the Riverside Park and the 4th of July, uh, or the chainsaw deal kind of has been forming over the years into a different deal. But they have two events going on in the one weekend. So that could be a way to bring in more people next year to get back on your feet here. You know, have two events, some kind of unique event along in combination. Just an idea to throw out there. I did talk to the carvers, some carvers about that. And I had no idea that there was a discrepancies going on amongst people, you know, as far as who's got the vents and things like that. Um, so I talked about it and then we were going to try to do, get fire-wise or safety-wise our museum park area over there. Yeah. And I wanted to leave some stumps of high so 
someone could come in and put on. Remember we talked about that? And then put on a carving deal during the uh, 4th of July. And then have then come down. Last year we invited them to come down and do a carving anyway down here. Because there was a little stink about that last year. And uh, one person did put a carving in the parade and went through it. Um, and I think it would have been a good deal, but we never got, because of uh, uh, time and everything, we never had a chance to get any of that taken care of to do that. Yeah. So that didn't materialize, but that would have been a carving event plus the 4th of July. Or if people, he could have came down and showed what he did and then had his event later, say the 5th or 6th of July, whatever date it fell on. Now he's staying here, and then people after the 4th could have went up and watched the carving event up on Libby too to help them out. And that's what the plan was kind of to try to be. And in the future, we still might try to do that. So I hope you got something out of that video. If you didn't, feel free to give a thumbs down. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. You can subscribe over here, check out some other videos down here, and you can always reach out to me at ben at nwmpnow.org. Thank you.